guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I am with my friends here, Brenda and Helen, and we just want to talk to you guys about what we like most about working in this country. I know in the previous videos I've been sharing about the challenges and blah blah blah, but today we just want to be real, okay, according to our own different perspectives. <laughs> Maybe you start with you, Helen. What do you like most about being in Qatar? <laughs> it's about the money. Mm. What about the money? In that stage of Kenya, good. The rate is good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I think at the moment the, the rate has gone up, so we are getting more, especially when we are sending money back at yes. home. The, yeah, we are, we are gaining because the exchange rate is high, so that's a plus. And uh, for me, the fact that we don't get taxed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. We, yeah, we get a tax free income. Or if you ever get a tax, you have, to, you have to pay tax. Not in this Is country. <laughs> no, it's haram. It's haram. We don't pay tax. That's why you get your net salary. Mm -hmm. Does it, do, do you ever get deducted on your salary? Whatever salary you are told that you're going to get, that is what comes to your account, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> we enjoy a tax free salary, and that is that's a plus. Because I remember back in Kenya, I used to pay a tax of like. If the yeah, deductions in SSF, in HIF, I would lose like 13,000 shillings. One. Yeah. And you see. And yeah. 13,000 Kenya shillings every, every, every month from my salary oh, going to the oh, government. And yeah. I've never used an NHIF. And I'm sure if you go to check your statements, the NSSF, they have not they been never used paid. To <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's a plus. <laughs> Tax-free tax salary is definitely a, a plus. plus. The other thing for me is free accommodation. The oh, fact yes. that I don't have to worry about rent at the end of the month is, is good. It's very good. I can just sleep and with our accommodation we get gas is provided, we get water provided, electricity. I mean, the only one I have to worry about is food. What to eat. Yeah, what to eat, that's all. But how you're going to cook when your gas is finished, you just go as <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, so that's a plus. That's a plus. And okay. transportation too. Yeah, and transportation. The only downside thing about accommodation is that now we yeah, have so yeah, we have a lawyer. Yeah. Curfew. <laughs> yeah. <called> yeah. curfew. <laughs> the curfew part is, but that's, is not so. But that depends on the law of Qatar. Yeah. No, 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 no. But yeah, you know if not, you are not manly, you are not supposed to go when outside. Outside. Oh, what do you mean by going outside? No, no, you can go out. You see, for, for other companies, like I think the, it's it's more lenient. For other companies, I think it's if you go out and you are late uh, past midnight, then don't come back. You yeah. can spend the night wherever you are and then come back the following morning by six. But uh, yeah, is for it for safety or? Yeah, it, it's for safety reasons because anyway, But Qatar is the most peaceful country in the world. I know, yes, that, and that's another thing by the way. It's very peaceful, it's very safe. Not every day you wake up and hear that, okay, it's uh, like a crime, or maybe yeah, somebody has somebody been was hung somewhere, or somebody has been strangled somewhere. Those are things that really happen. But just for the safety of everyone, um, we have to observe these rules, which are not so convenient for us sometimes, but at the end of the day, maybe they work to our favor because you cannot always trust everybody. Yeah, especially we as women, we are in another country with people from different cultures. They treat us like eggs, you know. <laughs> literally. <laughs> yeah, so literally like eggs. But, but it's so everything, yeah? For the life of a woman or a lady. Yeah, a lady is always, yeah, a lady is always like just delicate, prioritize, and men we, we left to fend for themselves. Yes. Uh, so yeah, so that's, that's, a, that's another plus. And then it's a beautiful country. Yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful country, especially, I know that there's some people who have been in this country and have never been to Doha. Mm -hmm. But if you get a chance to go to the sides of Doha, to the city center, it is so beautiful, the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. I mean, even people who are coming from abroad, I mean from Europe, Still marvel at the you know the architectural designs, the buildings in this place in Doha they are to die for. So that's 
just you feel like indeed you're living in a past world, so that's something that you'll also just likely to marvel about. You were saying something about hospital. What about us? Why did you touch our mind? No, no, no. Yeah, okay, we fine. The, no, we, we have when the we have the, yeah, we have the medical yeah. card. Eh? Yes, but it, what what does what it does? I think we get deductions. We don't pay as much as we would have paid for medicine, and we get free consultation. Or have you ever been free charged consultation? For consultation? They deduct yeah. for the medicine. Yeah, they deduct for the yeah. medicine, and not even the full amount of what you are supposed to pay for the medicine. Exactly. Because I saw this a guy that uh, had gone to hospital and uh, had all these medicines that some were costing 50 years, some were costing 30, some were blah, blah, blah. And I think he went to Hamad and he did not pay anything for the medicine. He literally did not pay. I think only at what charge for medicine? Health center? Yeah. So me medical, I, for me, I find that medical is, is cheap. You only get okay. I've gone to the hospital twice myself, and I only paid eight years, eight years for, for the medicine. And I got some really good medication that I know if I had to really buy, I would have spent maybe something like not less than two thousand in a Oh, yeah. What else can I think about in um, this country? Of course, yeah. The weather, the weather is not something to like. Yeah, the weather is not something to like. Instead of weather. Yeah, when it comes to weather, yeah, it's not, <laughs> the weather is not something to like, but you, you just have to learn to adjust. I mean, people who just came the other day are really complaining, but I think for us, we, we are really are, yeah, adjusted. Yeah, already adjusted to it, to the cold and to the heat. We are somehow adjusted to it. Some people came just the other day and they keep texting you like, oh my God, it's too hot, it's too hot for us. Like, what else is new? <laughs> mm. Yeah. Uh, something else you when you use the ATM or when you use yeah when you use your ATM card your debit card your credit card there's no deduction yeah, yeah no. that that is really nice so you don't like as many times even if you make but a does withdrawal it happen like the three same times in Kenya? no yeah. in Kenya they did that like yeah. uh, I think yeah, it used to be 30. 35 but I I think now they did that more more I think yeah whenever you, you you use your card for whatever you did that but here they don't did that yeah. it's haram it is considered haram so no deduction on your card for any purchases it is a it's a very good thing yeah. I find the locals okay I, it's not easy to know because okay there are from other like uh, Arab countries, uh, but people are just nice. Yeah. You know, maybe you go to, you hear about racism, but here it's not yeah, as yeah. much. Nobody cares. There are so many black people, so many white people around here. Nobody will look at you differently. I guess the percentage is eighty percent foreigners. Yeah, I think, yeah. The fact locals. that yeah, the fact that foreigners are more than locals. You, you, you barely get to interact with the locals, but yeah. you find that they are. If you do, they are friendly people, mm -hmm. and they are, you really want experience with people. Yeah. 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 Nobody cares about your color around mm -hmm. here. You yeah, it's true. Yeah, and then uh, also compared to other Muslim nations, mm -hmm. the fact that you have freedom of worship. Mm -hmm. We have a dedicated place that we can go to church. It's a plus. Yes. Yeah, it's a plus. We we can go to church. Like it's not a, a crime to have a Bible. Mm -hmm. It's not a crime to pray. Anyway, it just depends on where you're praying. But we are allowed to pray, so that that's a very big big thing for us. Because you know that some people have to hide literally. Mm -hmm. Have to hide and if they are caught, it's against it's other countries. But that's not that doesn't apply here. We don't wear an abaya. Yeah, we don't have to wear an abaya. Abaya, yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least freedom of dress. Yeah, of, uh, yeah, we can dress uh, as long as it's decent, as you can see, we yeah. are all covered, no cleavage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no cleavages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, there is that. We don't have to wear an abaya. If you see anyone in an abaya that's a Muslim, but if you are not an Muslim, then nobody expects you to. To be in that. Yeah, so there are so many laws that are liberal at least to accommodate the larger, you know, majority of the people of the population that is foreigners. Foreigners, true. Another thing is less traffic, right? Yes. Yeah, if you like so many areas you will access without having to meet like traffic jam. Mm. Maybe the only time that you stop is at the signals. Yeah. Which yeah. is only maybe two minutes or across three minutes. 
at most yes. yeah at most three minutes uh, but otherwise it's easy to get to you'll take a shorter time to get to a place compared to if you are driving in kenya you can get stuck in traffic especially during the weekends okay, yeah you yeah. can get stuck in traffic for a long time but here the road network is very superb. developed it's yes. superb it's very developed you don't have to be you're spending so much time in traffic like i leave the office at 4 30 and within 20 minutes 20 25 minutes at most some are at their accommodation so imagine by by five you can already start your evening and like uh, when I was back in Kenya, even if I live at home, I would yeah. get home maybe to about 6.30, 7. Yeah, even now we spend most likely 15 minutes. Yeah, 15, 15 minutes, minutes from the airport to so, Yeah, so that's also a plus, something to appreciate about this country. Mm -hmm. As much as we may have the challenge of being away from our families and blah, blah, blah. And then we have high spending power. Yeah. <laughs> Even when it's one day to pay day, you can still afford to buy. Yeah. A KFC. McDonald's. <laughs> you can still afford to enjoy. You know those simple things in life, like those simple treats. You can still treat yourself. Even to the end of the month, you can still save. You can see, compared to this person that say a person that is earning the same amount of salary back at home, mm -hmm. what we are earning. You are still able to save as much as the cost of living may be high. If you deny yourself a few luxuries here and there, it's possible to save because if you're not paying rent, you're not paying tra uh, for transport. I don't see why you shouldn't be able to save. You're not drinking because you cannot. You're not even yeah, able to yeah, buy alcohol. To drink, so yeah. You're able to save. That's a plus. In Kenya, I, I don't think I ever was able to keep. Okay, it's not a real home. plus because you know back at home. We always take support stuff, you know. <laughs> like what? Sending drinks, money back at home. Drinks. So that's not a big plus that we can drink in next to be there. Next to be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Just I know. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know the, the, the drink part, yes. But the fact that it's not there, yeah. it, it, it helps you to save. It helps so many yeah, people a to lot. save because yeah. there are some people that will, if you if you are able to walk into a supermarket and grab a a bottle of, you know, or two, with the yeah. level of stress that we go through sometimes, we could end up really spending so much. The whole amount. Yeah. yeah, so that will also help us. It's a big plus. It's a, it's a blessing, mm. and maybe to some people a curse, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. So I think, I think that's... Um, it's a blessing, a it, big one. I think that's it. So Qatar is a good country if you... I know people, most people have, you know, have all this perception because of the stories that you hear from other... Arab, maybe Muslim, Muslim nations that people are being raped or people are being mistreated or people are being no such things never happen here. As you can see, we are fine. People are moving around us. We, we, we are free to live our lives. Nobody even bothers you. You know, nobody will bother you as long as you respect yourself and you just stay safe and avoid. Sometimes you can look for trouble yourself. Yeah. But in general, it's a safe country. It's a good country to live in. Uh, there is money. There is money with most people, and if whatever money you're getting, you plan yourself, you get saved. So, if you're planning to come and join us, feel free. <laughs> it's a free country. It's a free country. It's a free country. You can pray, you can play, you can do whatever you want to do. So, thank you for hanging out with us. And uh, remember to subscribe. Yeah, that way. Subscribe. <laughs> and give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs>